Hi, greetings, fellow Arrow fans. <clears throat> we'll look at Arrow Season 1, now continues on with the episode, Vendetta. Helena wakes up in the middle of the night and leaves Oliver in her bed to follow the lead on the triad. Just when she was about to shoot China White, Oliver arrives as the hood and stops her. Despite her frustration at Oliver for meddling, she agrees to go to dinner with him and try to try and convince her to change her ways of achieving justice, but she turns him down anyway. She also says that she is not interested in a relationship. <clears throat> John, on the other hand, tries to convince Oliver that Helena cannot be saved and that she is very dangerous, but Oliver refuses to listen. Walter and Moira have a heartfelt conversation. She tells him that she is still the woman he fell in love with and married. Walter wants Moira and him to be completely honest with each other moving forward. <clears throat> the interrupts their conversation as Walter for a ride to school. He happily obliges. Oliver visits Brynell home again, and he brings Helena to the grave of Sarah Lance and tells her what happened to them. Their shared grief and guilt over the losses of their loved ones finally convinces Helena to listen to Oliver, who promises never hurt, promises never hurt her like she was before. Oliver then brings her to his lair and tries to teach her archery, with John still trying to convince Oliver to think things through about her. Meanwhile, Laurel tries to convince Tommy to ask Oliver for a job to help with his finances. Then a queen consolidated, Felicity informs Walter of more information that more information she has found on his wife, giving him a symbol of someone also tracking down the information. Walter, insistent on trusting his wife, threatens to suspend her unless she stops digging. That night, Oliver plans an object lesson with Helena. He gives her crossbow in a fitting costume when they go after Anthony Venza, a drug dealer who works for Helena's father, Frank Bertinelli, who also happens to be on Oliver's list. Successful with their trip, Oliver proves to Helena that, that they can get their justice without the need for innocent for the innocent to get hurt. That night, Helena approaches her father, who tells her about being happy for her and Oliver, if it makes her happy. She then watches happily as Frank worries about his loss of Anthony's business. Despite wanting to trust Moira, Walter is still bothered by what Felicity told him, so he later proceeds to search Moira's possessions for any sign of the symbol Felicity gave him. Soon enough, he finds the box sitting under grandfather clock with a symbol with a symbol on it. Inside the box is an empty journal, much like Robert's. That night at the new restaurant in the city, Table Salt, Tommy and Laura are waiting for a table to be available, which Tommy can no longer pay for it to get to sooner. Coincidentally, Oliver and Helena were also going to have dinner there, and when they get introduced to each other, Helena offers to let the couple join them, to which a seemingly bothered Laurel agrees to, and the boys reluctantly obliged to. After we start as casual chat among friends, leaves awkward revelations. Laurel tells Oliver about letting Tommy work for him in his new nightclub, which Oliver laughs at, saying Tommy usually does not like responsibility, and, and Helena finding out that Oliver and Laurel were once together, and she was now dating his best friend, to which Helena sounds shocked about. Tommy walks out of the dinner when Oliver seems to book fun at the idea of working with him, and Laurel soon follows. He tells her his frustration was from the fact that she wants to ask Oliver for help, and soon it's become apparent that he is jealous of Oliver. Helena, realizing that Laura was the girl Oliver told her about, also leaves, saying that it is apparent that he is still in love with her, and if they don't stop now, she will only get hurt again. Later, though, Tommy goes to Laura's apartment and apologizes in his barren securities about himself, and the two make up. Meanwhile, Oliver and Mr. John that he was right about Helena, and he had only wanted to believe so badly that he could have a companion in Helena, and that he, they turned a blind eye on the fact that she is possibly beyond saving. They later prove her right when Helena goes off on her own and kills the head of the Chinese triad, Xin Shen, and frames her father to China White by living only Xin Shen's men alive, telling him to pass on the message. Frank Bertinelli sends his regards. When Oliver later finds Xin Shen's body, he realizes the events would soon lead to war just like Quentin had previously deduced. Walter, no longer, no, long no longer able to keep his curiosity in check, talks to Felicity again and asks her to investigate the journal he found. Not without giving her a fair warning about the danger, though, but Felicity insists that she is dedicated to solving the mystery. Meanwhile, word is already going around that Xinxian is dead and that Frank Bernanelli may have something to do with it. China White and other Chinese tribe members infiltrate their house, planning to kill everyone in the house. Fortunately, Oliver was already in the house, managing to save Frank. However, as Frank was escaping, 
Helena shoots him down with her crossbow and tells him about all her pent-up anger. Oliver stops him from killing him, though, and she turns on him. Their fight gives Frank the opportunity to reach for his daughter's crossbow and shoot her with it. Oliver brings Helena back to his lair and treats her back to health. She is still ungrateful, however, and when Oliver tells her that her father is going to jail for a long time and she now has justice, she tells him that she is now more interested in revenge. She also threatens to expose Oliver if he does not stay away. Oliver then lets her leave, but now without saying he truly cares for her. Aww. John then tries to comfort Oliver over dinner. Elsewhere, Felicity reports back to Walter about the journal, saying, revealing that there is a list of names on the journal in a subsonic, ultraviolet, invisible ink. That night, Tommy visits Oliver to apologize and tell him about his situation. When Oliver offers him his trust fund, Tommy refuses, telling him he wants to change, beginning with getting an actual job. Good on him. Good on him. So anyway, let's take a look at some trivia surrounding this episode. The episode's title, Vendetta, is the Italian translation of Revenge. This episode marks the first time that Emily Beverkards and Christy Lang were both credited in the guest starring bill. Each of them were previously credited in the co-starring bill and the end credits for their respective episodes. This and the season 7 episode of Mast are the only 8th episodes of Arrow's seasons not to feature Grant Gustin. The outfit Oliver wore when he trained Helena would eventually be used again in Inheritance, where he trained Emiko Adachi. So, yeah. So, overall, I think this is a pretty good episode, and... Yeah, pretty much Oliver gave the Huntress her signature outfit, so... Yeah, or something close to it, but... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> so, overall, I give Vendetta... Four arrowheads out of five. Well, anyway, tune in tomorrow as we take a look at the next episode, Year's End. So, until then, in the words of Oliver Queen, you have failed this city.